What up YouTube, it's Carson here with another video right here in Memphis, Tennessee. And right now it's currently storming, so if you hear a little rain and thunder, just disregard it. In this video, I'll be talking all about Mac's operating system. Yes, that's Apple's computer operating system. In the past, we've known it to be called OS X, but it was recently renamed to Mac OS. Each year, they make awesome updates to it and release it to all of the Mac users in the world that are eligible for the update and give it a nickname. This year its nickname is macOS Sierra with so many cool new features. Apple's newest generation of MacBook Pros out of the box from this awesome new operating system macOS Sierra. And a lot of people are upset with the price point of the new MacBook Pros which are very expensive. You know it's the best MacBook Pros that Apple's ever made but it's also the most expensive MacBook Pros that Apple's ever made and there's a reason for that. You know the operating system and the hardware work together. They were designed to work together. And even in developing this new MacBook Pro and adding things like this touch bar that everybody's talking about required updates and more development work with this new operating system. When Apple makes a new product, they bring in great hardware and their operating system and develop their operating system to work specifically with this set of hardware for maximum efficiency. So with each new product, like this new MacBook Pro with the touch bar, Apple has to do a lot of development on their end with their operating system to make it work at a, the most efficient level possible with the new MacBook Pro. So that is factored into the cost. All this new stuff working into the operating system with this hardware. So it's not just the hardware alone. You're paying for the hardware, the design, and the operating system. But let's focus on the operating system. Apple's been updating this operating system every year, making refinements and bringing new features to its user base. Because Apple's operating system is closed off and designed for only specific sets of hardware, it really, in my opinion, is the most stable and the most secure operating system out there. And when it comes to security, there is no known, to this day, there is no known self-rooting virus for Mac. That means that no virus can put itself onto your computer. But even though a virus can't put itself on a Mac, doesn't mean a Mac can't get a virus. So to answer the question, yes, a Mac can get a virus, but it would be done by the user. So you or somebody who uses your computer would actually be the one to put the virus on your computer. You're probably asking yourself, now why would I download and install a virus on my computer? And in your defense, a lot of times you download something and you think it's one thing and it's really something bad, something malicious, and you accidentally install it without even knowing what you've done. Some of the oldest tricks in the book are when you're surfing the web and you get a pop-up that says, hey, you have a virus, click here to remove it. You click here and it says download this software, then you download it, install it to remove it. But guess what? There was never anything on your Mac. It was a trick. It was a trap. <laughs> but there's other things like, you know, maybe you're trying to look at some content on, on the web and it says you need this extension, download this extension to, to view this content. Or a lot of times I see this, people want you to download a fake Flash Player uh, disk image file it says hey you need flash player to view this content please download it and you download it and you install it and guess what it wasn't flash player it was something bad bad cookies so you need to be careful what you download and what you install make sure you're downloading what you want another thing to look out for is when you open up a web page and something downloads automatically and you don't know what it is so you click on it and next thing you know you've installed something bad on your computer and you know, guys, it happens, it, it happens all the time. I have friends that text me like, Carson, I've done something bad, what do I do, how do I fix it? And there's a lot of ways to fix it. And really, there's a bunch of junk that you've installed and distributed into your file system. And me, myself, I'm pretty Mac savvy, so I go in to the terminal and just delete everything that I don't need, and that's it, it's gone. I delete, I delete the files and it's gone. Um, but for you, you might not be as Mac savvy as me, so they actually make some really cool software. I'll leave a link to some software that I've heard of, never used it, but I hear it's very effective. This software is called Malware Bytes. It's free for Mac and it's pretty straightforward. Although I've never used it, I think you just download it, hit scan, and it starts deleting these malicious files that are found in your Mac file system. And as soon as it's done, you would empty your trash can of all the things that it's deleted and then reboot. And sometimes in some cases, I've heard that people have had more stuff appear in the trash can. Just delete that as well and do another reboot. And that should fix everything. But for me personally, I really don't like downloading junk, 
to remove other junk. <laughs> I would rather just do it myself and have less junk altogether. But you know, you could even delete this app when you're done with it at the end. I would recommend that myself. But really, that's it. You know, malware. It happens. I've actually been a victim myself. Done something stupid and clicked something. I was like, oh crap! Look what I did. But it's just like anything else, you can get rid of it and you can move forward. <laughs> but guys, thanks for watching this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.